So, meteoric gets on the successor of the meteoric diamond city 9300. The meteoric diamond city 9300 plus. Well, it's an overclocked version of the current diamond city 9300 with faster CPU, faster GPU, faster AI, faster NPU, faster APU, better ISP, and many more improvements. This chipset made its debut in the Vivo X100S and the Vivo IQ9S Pro. And these are fairly awesome flagship smartphones that are going to hit the market in May. And you know what? Vivo is calling the Vivo iq 9 s Pro the king of benchmarks. Because at the time I'm reviewing this chipset, this chipset tops the N22 version 10 benchmarks. Thus beating the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Apple S17 Pro, the current Diamond City 9300 and the Exynos 2400. Plus, this chipset has top of the line AI features that the Vivo X100S is taking advantage in so many ways. So the question is, should you go for this Vivo X100S with this chipset or go for other smartphones in the market? Well, in every smartphone, the most important part of the smartphone is its brain, which is the chipset. Plus, I am going to explain everything in details as I go along in this review. So make sure to watch this review till the end. Plus, I will also compare this chipset to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Exynos 2400 and the Apple S17 Pro so that you will have a better idea that how faster this chipset really is. I am also surprised by its benchmarks and capabilities. Well, talking about the benchmarks, then the Dimensity 9300 Plus demonstrate killer performance with its benchmarks in Intuit version 10 and in Geekbench 6. In Intuit version 10, it has achieved a total score of 2,305,267 points, which is just insane. And because of these scores, this chipset tops the N22 version 10 chart now, becoming the world's fastest chipset in this category. Let's break down this total N22 version 10 scores. Well, the CPU achieved 538,809 points. The GPU achieved 940,944 points. And the memory achieved 472,337 points. And the UX achieved 353,177 points, resulting in a total score of 2,305,267 points. It's crazy to think that how faster the smartphone chipset can be. I mean, if I look back two years ago, achieving 2 million points for a smartphone chipset was so harder. But now it's just a piece of cake for every flagship chipset. Well, let's compare these in 2 version 10 scores to other chipsets in the market. Well, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is about 9.89. The Exynos 2400 is about 25.86 and the Apple S17 Pro is about 39.23% slower than this Dimensity 9300 Plus. Now, seeing this difference makes some sense because it is indeed the world's fastest chipset in this category. Well, it not only beats all of it in N22 version 10, but also in Geekbench 6 benchmarks. In Geekbench 6, the Dimensity 9300 Plus achieved a single core score of 2256 points and a multi core score of 7436 points. The single core scores are identical to most flagship chipsets out there with only about 1 to 2% performance difference. However, compared to the Apple S17 Pro, the single core scores of these chipsets are about 26% slower. And that's because of amazing CPU architecture of the Apple S17 Pro. Plus, I have reviewed these chipsets. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the Exynos 2400, the Dimensity 9300, the Apple S17 Pro, and many more chipsets. So you can go and watch these reviews. Links are in the description. Well, the main reason behind this chipset amazing benchmarks is its CPU and GPU. The Dimensity 9300 Plus features octa-core CPU configuration. The Prime Ultra High Performance Cores are based on Cortex X4 clock at 3.4 GHz. The High Performance Cores based on Cortex X4 clock at 2.85 GHz. And 4 Power Efficiency Cores based on Cortex S720 clock at 2 GHz. The CPU configuration of this chipset is almost identical to its predecessor, the Dimensity 9300, with a slightly overclocked Prime Core. This chipset utilizes the latest ARM version 9-2 instruction set architecture and includes an 18 MB of L3 cache memory. Plus, this chipset is based on second generation TSMC 4 nanometer process node and have over 22.7 billion transistors. Do you believe that 22.7 billion transistors are so many? And you know what surprised me? 22.7 billion transistor, a prime Cortex X4 core clock at 3.4 GHz is a lot, right? But guess what? This chipset only eats about 7 watts of power which is just so much more efficient. I mean, if I compare to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, then that chipset consumes about 12.5 watts of power. And the Exynos 2400 
consumes about 12 watts of power and the Apple S17 Pro consumes about 14 watts of power. So that is why this chipset is one of the most efficient flagship chipset out there in the market. You know, not only its CPU is faster, but its GPU is on another level. The mediating dimensity 9300 plus features a 12 core Mali G720 M or Talus MP12 GPU, firmware hall, fifth generation architecture. This GPU operates at a frequency of 1300 MHz and has 12 execution units, 192 shading units, and 2034 shaders, which is the first time I'm seeing this on a smartphone chipset. And because of this, this GPU achieved about 5990.9 gigaflops in GPU test, which is just faster. I mean, I haven't seen any chipset in this category to cross that point. And that is why the GPU of this chipset is faster than any other flagship chipset out there. And that will really impact on gaming. And yeah, if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be miracle. So in terms of gaming performance, this chipset with its powerful GPU is going to give you an amazingly smooth experience in games with HDR settings, providing up to 90 FPS with 20% more power efficiency compared to other flagship chipsets. Additionally, it has a second generation hardware ray tracing engine, which will give you full ray tracing experiences at smooth 60 FPS and console grade global illumination effects. So this chipset is really great for gaming. So if you are a gamer, then you should blindly go for this chipset with the Vivo X100S smartphone. However, for gaming, the GPU is not only the important part, RAM and storage are also crucial. Now, if I talk about the RAM and the storage technology of this chipset, then the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus supports quad channel LPDDR5T and LPDDR5X RAM with a memory frequency of 9600 MHz. Well, this chipset also supports a maximum RAM size of up to 24 GB. And it has a maximum bandwidth of 76.8 GB per second and supports UFS 4.0 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. Nowadays, every flagship chipset has a top-of-the-line AI engine, and this chipset is no exception. Let me explain. The MediaTek Dimensity features the MediaTek APU 790 Generative AI Engine. This AI engine enables faster, safer edge AI computing, achieving up to 33 trillion operations per second, which is, I would say, it's not as good as Apple A70 Pro and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, but it's also not bad at this point. So, MediaTek is the first to market with a comprehensive tool chain that assists developers in swiftly and efficiently deploying multi-model generative AI applications at the edge, providing users with innovative generative AI experiences, including texts, images, music, and more. This chipset also supports on-device LoRa Fusion and Neuropilot LoRa Fusion 2.0, with up to a 10% performance boost thanks to its Neuropilot speculative decode acceleration and ExoTorch delegation support. Additionally, this AI engine also collaborates with other AI engines, such as this AI as you can see on the screen. And this is outstanding. Well, we will see this in action in Android 15. So stay tuned for that by subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon to never miss a review video like this one. Plus, so this AI engine has so many features in the camera department. So, the Dimensity 9300 Plus Boost MHIQ 990, which features an 18-bit RAW ISP, providing AI videography and zero latency video preview. Smartphone manufacturers will take advantage of its AI semantic analysis video engine with 16 categories of scene segmentation adjust for a more visually enhanced cinematic video capture, which is better than Snapdragon and Apple at this point. So, because of this, users will have top-of-the-line AI features in their camera app. Plus, users can record 8K videos at 30 frames per second and 4K videos at 60 frames per second in HDR and in SDR. This image IQ990 also supports a single camera of up to 320 megapixels, making it an amazing camera engine. Well, this Dimensity 9300 Plus also supports amazing display capabilities with its MediaTek Meta version 990 with AI display. This Meta version 990 supports 4K displays at 120Hz, WQHD Plus at 180Hz, and Full HD Plus at 240Hz. It has features like AI Depth Engine, foldable supports with dual active displays, and leading NT burn technologies for AMOLED displays. Plus, it can also support 12-bit panels with up to 68 billion colors, and supports 
all HDR formats for awesome visual experience. Not only this chiplet excels in AI and display, but also in connectivity. This MediaTek Dimensity 9300 features the MediaTek T830 modem, which supports 5G with a blazing download speed of up to 7900 Mbps and upload speed of up to 4200 Mbps. Well, compared to the Snapdragon, the download speed are slower, but the upload speed are faster. So that's a draw. And this chiplet supports Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. Well, that brings me to my final verdict. Now, the big question remains. Should you go for this Vivo x s with this chipset? Then the answer is yes. And why wouldn't you? I mean, this Dimensity 9300 is the fastest chipset available at this time. And every smartphone that is going to launch with this chipset will have top-of-the-line features and performance. So I highly recommend it that you go with this chipset if you want to see the best performance. Because this chipset beats almost every other flagship chipset out there in terms of performance, features and benchmarks. And because of the features of this chipset, those features also make it one of the best chipsets available in the planet right now. In terms of gaming, camera, performance, benchmarks, ISP, video recordings and many more. So yeah, it's an amazing and faster processor. And at this time, it tops the N22 version 10 benchmarks. So yeah, this was the full review of the Dimensity 9300 Plus. If you learned something new and useful, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Samza, this is Says Tech, and see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the Dimensity 9300, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.